Hi, I'm Terry from Better Biscuits Boarding and Training Facility, and this is Muffin. Muffin's done really good. She can be very high energy at first, but like this here, she's been out here for a little bit with me, so she's calmed down. Once she calms down, she's got a lot of potential, and I think that's just the breed and her age. So, what I've done, I've got a prong collar, as you can see, she's got so much hair. A prong collar that I use here, um, it's really loose. I mean, it probably even bottoms out before it even comes tight but it works really good on a dog that's pulling a lot and I got in like a four or five foot leash here you can use up to a six foot I wouldn't go anything longer than a six foot leash and uh, when you walk her or anything never keep the leash tight always keep it loose like this and you relax that way she'll be more relaxed look straight where you want to go if you want to go that way just look that way and you're walking Leash is a little bit loose, not a whole bunch, don't want a lot, just, just a little bit where it hooks to the, the collar. And when you feel it become tight, that means she's either pulling probably to go forward or wherever. It's just a pull and release. You can pull pretty good, you know, not real hard, but pull and release. Her reward she'll learn, she already has learned, for that leash, that collar to be loose. When you make a correction, it gets tight, and then you release it, and, and that's just her correction. The reward is when it gets loose. They learn it very quickly, especially a smart breed like this, and she already knows she's doing very good with it. Through all these exercises, the dog will be at your left side. The dog will always be at your left side. When you're healing the dog at home, doing any of these exercises, whatever, wherever you're walking her, she's always at your left side. If you put her on the right, she's gonna probably try to go behind you in front to get to the left. She's been trained to the left side of the, of the person with the leash. Okay, um, when we return, we'll start out with a heel on leash. Well, basically, we're going to do the heel, the sit stay, the down stay, and the recall. We're going to use hand signals. I'll explain each one of them as we go through each exercise. When we return, we'll, we'll start out with a heel on leash. Okay, again, she's at your left side. I usually start out, first hand signal to sit. It's just bring your hand up like that. She knows that means to sit. Yes, you do. And. I usually start out with a sit and then I take my first step and just walk and like I said wherever you want to go watch look straight forward to where you want to go don't let her walk you if she's pulling a little bit that way don't make yourself go that way to cater to her look where you want to go I usually pick a fence a tree or whatever and just go that way whatever I just go straight if she if the leash becomes tight at all it's just a little pull and release don't stop keep walking talk come on girl come on and just let talk like that and she'll come right up beside you and continue your walk. The worst thing you can do is stop walking, cater to her, let her sniff around and do whatever she's doing. You'll be fighting her two years down the road, still her healing you instead of you healing her. Okay, let's see how she does. When you stop walking, I like to have her sit. As long as she stops walking when you do, that's what I'm asking for. Come on, Ma. heal. Good girl. Come on. You stop walking. She should. Good girl. Sometimes she does a little circle. Come on, girl. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, she's trying to pull forward. I just got a little pull and release. Muffin. Sit. Exercise finished. Praise your dog. Good girl. Okay, this is going to be Muffin sit stay. Again, hand signal to sit like that and then before you walk away from her to go to the end of your leash you just tell her to stay that's a second hand signal you need to learn is to stay and then you're just going to go out to the end of your leash if she starts to follow you maybe you're only going to take one one step to start with because she starts to follow you tell her to stay only stay here three or four or five seconds then come back and then release her until the exercise finished good girl i'm going to go out to the end of the leash like she's been trained with me and uh see how she does Muffin, sit, stay, stay. Good girl, stay, stay. Don't release, release her until you get back and you're all the way back there, stay. If you release her too early, she will anticipate and she'll get up before you get back to her all the time. Exercise finished, good okay. girl. This next exercise is gonna be her down. Again, at your left side, you're gonna tell her to sit you're gonna turn and face her like this. You're gonna put your finger right to the ground as you tell her to down. Only tell her twice. All these exercises, when you tell her to do something, whether it's a sit, a stay, a 
and down, come, any of them, don't tell her any more than twice. Hopefully only once. But if you have to repeat it, only tell her twice. Every time you tell her to do it and she doesn't do it, she's breaking the command. And they learn that they can get away with breaking the command. There's no big con no consequences for it. So I only let, I only say it twice, then I make the dog do it. So now she knows. After she doesn't do it twice, she's gonna be made to do it. Okay? So let's see her down stay, okay? If she doesn't go down, which she may not, then uh, your second time that you're telling her, give her a little pull to the to the ground with the leash where it hooks to the collar. She should go right down, okay? Down. Come on, you know. Come on. Down. Just gently pull. I'm not pulling very hard at all. Good girl. Stay. Really reinforce the word stay before you leave. Stay. 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 Exercise finished. Good girl. Praise your dog. Good. Okay, the last one is going to be her recall. Again, at your left side to sit. Then your stay. You're going to walk to the end of your leash like you did your uh, sit stay and your down stay. You're going to turn and face her. You're gonna bring your hand to your chest as you tell her to come. Sometimes I take a little step back as I do it. A nice high-pitched voice that the dog is gonna to wanna to come to you. And hope, you know, she should come to you. What I've been trying to get her to do is sit at your feet when she gets to you. The big thing we're trying to teach the dog is when, when you call her later on down the road, off leash or any time, that she comes to you, okay? But this is where we have to start with. Sit, stay, stay. Sure she's looking at you. Mama, come. Exercise finished. Good girl. Crazy dog. Okay, for a conclusion, uh, Muffin's done really well. I think that it's going to take a little bit of time for you to get on the same page with her at home. She's going to test her boundaries when she gets at home, and I'm not going to be there. Hey. Hey. So, she's going to test her boundaries a little bit. But as long as you stick to your guns, make her do it, end it on a good note, always praise her. I haven't used any treats to, to do the training. Praise her, tell her good girl, and pet her when she does it correctly. And then just, you know, tell her no when she does it wrong and make her do it right. And you'd be surprised. She's come a long way just in the time she's been here. So she's a real sweet dog, she is. As far as off leash, I think she is maybe capable of learning it, but, well, I know she is, but, She's got to be really, really good on the leash first. So if you do, do want to do the off leash, take her home, practice with her like all these exercises we just did here on the video. And after she's doing really, really good, what it takes you a month or six months or whatever, then you can call me if you want to and we can do the off leash. But I take them usually for four weeks to do that. And they do everything we've done here today with no leash at all. So uh, going through doorways, I put her in a sit, tell her to stay. I walk through the doorway first, then call her. Just like the recall, bring your hand to your chest. That way when somebody comes to the door at home and you know, you open the door, usually the dogs fly out. They wanna be the first one. I always make it a point to me or with me that the dog goes through last. You open up the door, if there's one, just me, if there's two other people, they go through first, then I do, then the dog comes. Kind of like a pecking order, once they learn that, they learn that, uh, that you're the, uh, the master and in control and, and they have to listen to you and it usually makes a much happier family life. Anyway, um, thank you for allowing me to train her. I, I've, had, I've really enjoyed it. Thank you.